What's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to take you through an upper body workout from my new ebook, Strength Plus Aesthetics. To perform this workout, you will only need access to a squat rack, barbell, and free weights. And I'm fully aware that some of you can't even hit the gym right now due to what's currently going on worldwide. That's why I would strongly encourage you to invest in a home setup if you're able to. Gym equipment sales have skyrocketed, and I'm pretty sure major brands are starting to sell out since all the gyms are closing. If you're looking to get some equipment, check out my budget home gym video for some ideas. And anyways, let's get right to it. You're going to start off with three sets of five to eight reps on the incline bench. A lot of people are lacking upper chest, so this is a perfect movement to help balance out your overall chest development. If you're pretty new to this movement, I'm always gonna recommend performing pause reps. This will help you recruit more muscle fibers and also help you work on getting good form. I see a lot of people bouncing the weight off their chest, which makes the bar shift and can even cause injuries and less muscle growth because when you're bouncing the bar off your chest, that's you're using momentum to lift the weight so you're not using all of your muscle fibers. So if you are a beginner, work on doing pause reps. Some people prefer to go wide grip, but I normally stick to a medium and even sometimes close grip. Really just depends on your genetics and what's gonna feel comfortable. If you're wanting to put more emphasis on strength, then start with straight sets of five. And for hypertrophy, go with eight reps. And I just wanna say that touch and go reps are fine if you are experienced, but as a beginner, just focus on pausing. So now let's move on to the second movement, and that is the weighted pull-up. If you don't have a weighted pull-up belt, then you can simply just do regular pull-ups. As far as what grip to use, that's gonna to be totally up to you. You can pull up, chin up, or even do the hammer style grip I'm using in this video. And I try to rotate each movement uh, about every few weeks. And this is one of my favorite back exercises. If you have a strong way to pull up, I can guarantee you won't lack arm development or back development. And if you can't do a pull up, try using bands, negatives, or use a pull up machine to assist you. I made a video on this exact thing, so I'll link it somewhere on the screen now. Next, we have the flat bench press. This is simply just for more chest hypertrophy, and you're gonna perform three sets of eight to 12 reps. And for the rest time, all I'm resting in these clips is 60 seconds. So that's gonna make it way more challenging, and it's gonna create a lot more metabolic fatigue, which can help with muscle growth you're gonna perform the barbell row, also called the pinlay row. And pinlay rows start with your back flat and parallel to the floor, which is basically just a barbell row with way stricter form. Uh, you could also do the bodybuilding style where you're more upright and you're kind of cheating the weight. It's really just gonna be your preference. Um, rows combined with pull-ups can pretty much give you maximum gains. Just those two movements alone can build a strong and aesthetic back. You're gonna be doing three sets of eight to 12 reps on these as well. And now we're gonna move on to the accessory work. And I only recorded barbell curls, but you could also throw in lateral raises to hit your delts. And depending on your energy levels, you could do three to five sets of 10 plus reps on each movement just to get that extra volume in, especially if you're lacking in arm or delt development. For triceps, you could even throw in skull crushers or tricep pushdowns. Adding all these accessory movements will be challenging, but if you can finish each set with good form, then there's plenty of volume to stimulate muscle growth. So that's one of the workouts out of my ebook I just released. The upper lower is a four day routine. It has another upper workout, two lower workouts, and also a full body routine. If you're interested in grabbing a copy, just click the link in the description. And it's currently only $10 and it's an instant download. So I hope you enjoyed this upper body workout routine video. I know it was super quick, but I wanted to have something up on the channel for anyone that's struggling to find a program, especially if you're beginning to work out in a home gym. You can do a lot and make it really far with just a squat rack and a barbell and free weights. So thanks so much for watching. Peace, guys.